What's up guys, it's your Motivational Gamer and welcome to another video. Today's video is going to be all about eggs in Pokemon Go and how you can make the best of your hatching experience. So if you guys are probably experienced, let me tell you guys which eggs are which before we dive in. So in your item shop, excuse me, um, in your item bag, you'll come across Lucky Eggs. Now Lucky Eggs give you double XP for 30 minutes. They are not there at all in any means and they will never affect egg hatching. Okay, so um, I had a friend of mine who thought Lucky Eggs were actually hatchable and Pokemons came from Lucky Eggs, so he bought a ton. Uh, unfortunately, that's not what they're for, although, fortunately, they will help him level up faster because of the double XP. So I just wanted to clear that up. Now, if you guys are probably experienced, if you guys go to your Pokemon tab and you go to Eggs, you'll find that you probably have Eggs if you've visited a ton of Pokestops because they do drop there. Eggs drop in variations of 2 kilometers, 5 kilometers, and 10 kilometers. In the comment box, excuse me, in the box below, underneath, in the comment link description, in the video description, <laughs> I will uh, put a link in there, I'll post a couple of links where you guys can actually look at the actual Pokemon that come from each egg. Um, you have 2 kilometer eggs, which are your more common types of Pokemon, 5 being the most variety of Pokemon that you can get, and 10 obviously being the rarer breeds of Pokemon currently um, in, in version 1.0.2. Uh, of Pokemon Go. Now, what's the most effective way to hatch eggs? Now, to hatch eggs, you want to get these things called incubators. You can get them from the shop um, for 150 coins, um, and they have three, you can use them three times. So, um, I would buy a ton of them if you can. Uh, a nice way to get coinage, guys, is if you guys own gyms or have one of your Pokemon in a gym, um, you leave it in there as long as your gym stays active every 24 hours or 20 hours. Uh, specifically, you'll get coin and uh, I think 10 coin per monster and 500, um, 500 dust. Stardust, yeah, <laughs> for every Pokemon that you have active in the gym. So you can basically build yourself a nice residual income if your Pokemon is strong enough. But that's another video. So after you buy your incubators, you guys are basically going to attach them on your eggs here. Uh, so you'll go to your Pokemon, uh, you'll go to your eggs, you'll click egg. You'll um, When you don't have an egg in the incubator, there should be a nice big button that says start incubation period. Um, after you hit start incubation period, it'll put it in one of these things, and then you just basically have to track distance. Um, so if you guys are walking, you get out, you know, set a goal, run a, th run a 5K, uh, walk, run a mile, whatever you guys got to do uh, to hatch these eggs. Now, there have been complaints about, you know, people saying, oh, I don't want to hatch my 2K eggs, or I don't want to hatch my 5Ks, I only want 10Ks. But the beautiful thing about eggs is this. Eggs are one of the best sources of XP in the game and if you guys are running double experience as your eggs hatch you will get a ton of experience guys so leave yourself in a good position to do that also that what I've noticed is as I'm continuing to level up um, your 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 Pokemon the base CP or the combat power will increase um, you know or be higher you'll have a higher base um, the higher level you are. So to give you guys an example here, uh, when I was like level eight or some or level nine, I pulled Jinx and only got a like she was like 144 CP when I pulled her, right? Um, and then after that, uh, when I was level 17, I pulled Lapras from my 10k egg, and he came at a base of 964. So all you really have to do, guys, is level up, and the quality of your eggs will get better. And then the base uh, stats obviously will be higher of your Pokemon, and will allow you to power up faster so really always 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 be hatching your eggs because even if they don't uh, offer you let's say a super strong Pokemon up front they still give you a nice bulk of candies I think 5k eggs net 10 candies 10k eggs net 20 candies um, if I'm not mistaken that information could be wrong so make sure you verify um, if you guys know the correct amount definitely drop me a, uh, an amount uh, Definitely drop a comment in the box below so we can help people out. Um, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that's that's the value. Um, again, if not, let me know um, so everybody else can know. But again, you guys should be hatching as many eggs as, as humanly possible as you guys move through the game. It's basically you know just their way of getting us out there to get moving. But it's a really, really awesome way to get XP, get candies, and get great Pokemon. Um, so yeah, guys, that's basically all you guys need to know about hatching eggs efficiently. Yeah, I mean, there are a ton of videos out there on, you know, people attaching their 
phones to their fan and all kinds of crap like that. But come on, guys. Let's not be lazy. Let's get this work in and let's get these eggs hatched. So with that being said, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in to yet another video uh, by me, the Motivational Gamer. And we will see you guys next bye -bye. time. Peace. Bye-bye.